where this brand comes from, what kind of perfumes do they have, and more importantly, is it worth it? Hello guys, and welcome back, or welcome if you're new here. If you enjoyed this video, if you find it useful because it answered some of the questions you had when you clicked on it, or you discovered a new and interesting brand, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. It really helps the channel and motivates me to keep posting these perfume reviews, which is something I really enjoy doing. Now, let's get straight into the video. Today I want to tell you about Verset perfumes and in particular about this little gem called soft and young but first if you never heard about this name before Verset is an affordable spanish perfume brand exclusively made and manufactured for pharmacies you can find it in most european countries i believe but i also saw the perfumes available on um, amazon usa some time ago i will check for links where you can buy it online and i will add them to the description box for you most if not all of their perfumes are inspiration fragrances or dupes for mainly popular designer scent and they carry both women and men lines they have a hundred fifty and uh, fifteen ml travel side bottles which is the one you can see in this video and i personally think it is the cutest one all their bottles and packaging are the same for all perfume what changes is the name of each perfume on the labels and the colors of the bottle caps and the boxes which are different for the men and women lines the packaging overall is sleek and minimal but at the same time it is good quality the bottles are made of glass have a nice weight to them and the spray nozzles are good for sure they're way better than the latafa ones that i already reviewed here on the channel and now let's talk about the scent of the day soft and young this is a dupe for chanel chance or tandre actually no mm, let me say it again this is an amazing dupe of Chanel Chans. So, if you know and love the Rotandre perfume, but you are looking for something more affordable, I'm telling you already, this is it. Just order it now. If you're not familiar with the Chanel, this is a uh, very classy and feminine perfume, which is perfect for the spring and summer. It's delicate and uplifting. A beautiful floral bouquet, which opens with a burst of juicy fresh citrus notes sitting on a well-balanced slightly woody and ever so slightly musky amber base both on Fragrantica and the Verset website you will find only three notes being listed for this perfume but there is so much more going on being so close to chance I suspect they share the same notes maybe a little less queens in the opening and a little less musk in the base than the chanel but these are very slight differences that no one will notice when you wear it one thing that i have to mention though i got this small bottle last summer so i wore it during july and august when it was extremely hot what i remember i noticed then was a little bit of that high pitched synthetic note that many tubes have but it was only in the opening for a few minutes and then it was gone now i tried it again and i don't know if it's because of the temperature which is lower at the moment because we're still in spring or if it just needed to sit still for a while but that note is gone with that being said now comes the best part for four months the last bottle of chance i finished it two summers ago so i don't have it now to compare them side by side but i do remember that the chanel only lasted on me for a couple of hours stops and then it was gone that was actually the main reason i postponed buying a new bottle even though i really love the scent so you can imagine how happy i was discovering this absolute gem last summer and realizing it even lasts more than the chanel on my skin last year in the high heat it lasted a good three four hours with moderate rejection and sillage but on clothes and hair it stayed for a full day now it's Spring, I see it lasts 6 plus hours on the skin, which is great for this type of perfume and on the clothes and hair until you wash them. I think this may be due to the fact that the Verset perfume 
is an EDP while the Chanel is an EDT. And if we also add the price to the list of pros, which is a fraction of chance, I can definitely say this is a winner from Verset and I 100% recommend it. Alright guys, that's it for today. If you're still here, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. And I'm curious to know if you were already familiar with this brand. Have you tried this or any of the perfumes? Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Also, feel free to share any feedback or requests for future reviews. I do have a few more Versa perfume I tried, so if you want me to review those as well, let me know in the comments. And give this video a big thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!